cases and this one just felt so incredibly personal um, like it was our own case because it really was everyone's case i mean this was such an important trial because we all witnessed it firsthand how derek Chauvin, before our eyes executed an innocent man over a 20 dollar counterfeit bill i mean it was such an injustice and to see it happen and to see someone that we trusted someone who was a law enforcement officer for many years do this and just the look on his face and i really think the state said it best where really this was just pride ego you know an unwillingness to listen to bystanders who were powerless you know children men and women they saw this happening before their very eyes i too felt powerless when i saw that video for the first time and you know to be on law and crime with you and to track this case every day from jury selection to verdict and to hear the verdict be read on tv live with you linda is a moment that i will never forget um Anima, just, you, you, you say it so well with regard to what we are all feeling, but you and I have both been in a situation where we have tried defense cases. Now, what is going through Eric Nelson's mind right now, do you think? Uh, just give us the tea leaves as a trained defense attorney who, who obviously poured his heart, whether we liked his client or not, gave him the best representation he could, but he has to go home tonight and his client is in jail for the second degree, the top count, the second degree murder. Yeah, I commend Eric Nelson. He's an important part of our criminal justice system. He did his job and he did it admirably. It's a very tough case for the defense for the many reasons that we discussed. So as he goes home today, he's probably going to lick his wounds and get ready for the appeal. Just like Mohammed Noor, their case is up on appeal the first time. An officer was convicted of murder in the state of Minnesota. That one just third degree. Um, Eric Nelson does have a number of grounds for appeal, and I'm not saying they're going to be successful, but he's set up those appellate issues from day one, whether it's issues relating to the 2019 arrest, the third-degree murder charge, which we know has gone up, um, the change of venue, and those types of issues. There will be an appeal in this case, no question. And the other issue, of course, is sentencing. Sentencing is going to be about eight weeks out um, after the pre-sentence interview is done. So he needs to prepare his case and make the best possible argument that he can to get his client, Derek Chauvin, something less than the maximum, which is 40 years in this case. So he has his work cut out for him over the well, next couple of months. Yeah, yeah, he certainly does. Nima, I have two questions for you on that. Let's talk